Hey, ¿qué tal YouTube? En esta ocasión quiero traerles un pequeño fragmento de la entrevista que le hicieron a Elon Musk después de el éxito que tuvo pues el envío verdad de la cápsula Crew Dragon a la Estación Espacial Internacional. Más que nada es una entrevista que me parece interesante porque bueno pues Elon Musk habla de la importancia que tienen este tipo de viajes tripulados por humanos ya que pues el objetivo como él bien dice y que además pide el apoyo de toda la gente es que la humanidad se convierta en una especie multiplanetaria. Podría parecer una tal vez una noticia un tanto romántica para algunos, un tanto absurda para otros eh, o tal vez algo muy muy interesante y muy importante. Es por eso que traje este video. Espero que les guste. Eh, está traducido para que lo, lo entendamos mejor. Así que sin más, pues los dejo con el video y espero que les guste. Que estén bien. Seguimos en contacto. Just, uh... Uh, yeah, uh, acknowledge the incredible work of the people at SpaceX and, and NASA and everyone in, in cre uh, creating this technology and in, uh, the, in w what has culminated in this incredible launch today of getting astronauts back to orbit after almost a decade uh, should really get people, I mean, right on the heart of anyone who is Uh, has any spirit of exploration and the United States is a distillation of the human spirit of exploration I think this is something that's particularly important um, in the United States but appeals to everyone with the, uh, throughout the world who has within them the spirit of exploration so um, I mean I'm really quite overcome uh, with emotion on uh, this day it's, it's kind of hard to talk frankly um, it's been 18 years working towards this goal so It's, it's hard to believe that it's happened. Um, and we haven't quite yet docked at the space station, and of course we need to bring them back safely, and we need to repeat these, these missions, um, and have this be a regular occurrence. Um, so, it's a lot of work to do, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's just incredible. I, I think this is something that everyone, you know, it's, this is a, a craft made by humans, you know, for humans. This is like something that I think Humanity should be excited about and proud of occurring on this day. I think this is uh, this is a day that is that I think uh, everyone can be proud of. That uh, it's it's a good day to be. It, th this event is something that, that any, all all of humanity can get excited about. Um, it's just a fundamentally positive, good thing. Um, and uh, you know, I think we need we need more positive, good things in this world. On, on Wednesday during the first first countdown. I'd say that I, uh, my adrenaline was railed at 100%. Um, and when, when the launch was called off, it went to 0%. <laughs> it was like I just basically collapsed and slept the, the longest time I'd slept in probably a year. Um, then oddly enough today, I don't know, it felt like the, just the fates were aligned. And I, I didn't, feel, didn't feel nervous, didn't feel, for whatever reason, I did not, I did not feel nervous. A tremendous accomplishment of, of for SpaceX in partnership with NASA and a number of critical suppliers. In fact, if I think about the total number of people involved in making this mission successful, it probably adds up to 100,000. So I'd just like to uh, just to express a word of appreciation and congratulations again for t to uh, everyone involved in making this successful. Um, um, it, it is it is a little hard to process. I, I think at this point I am somewhat overcome by emotion to try to come up with. Uh, cohesive you know, sentences that make any sense is quite difficult. I, but I think the, the, this is hopefully the first step on a journey towards a, a civilization on, on Mars, beca a life becoming multiplanetary, you know, based on the moon and expand, expanding beyond Earth and, and life becoming a multiplanet species, life becoming multiplanetary for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. I think this is hopefully the first step on that journey. Um, it will require a, a tremendous amount of innovation and technology development to make going to orbit and ultimately beyond orbit uh, a routine matter where thousands and perhaps ultimately millions of people can travel to other planets. That's, that's what we really need to achieve over time. We're, and and that, that's That's obviously a very difficult goal, but that's 
um, so that's seeming increasingly real with what happened today, that um, getting people to orbit finally after 18 years. If we, if we are able to increase that, the rate of innovation, then life can become multiplanetary. This is the goal we should strive for. Yeah, I, human spaceflight was, was always the goal, the, the, the fundamental goal of SpaceX. Well, like I said, to uh, create the technologies or help create the technologies necessary to make life sustainably multiplanetary. I, can't emphasize, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the thing that we need to do. We must make life sustainably multiplanetary. Multi it's not one planet to the ex exclusion of another, but to um, extend life beyond Earth, we are life's agent in this regard. Um, all the creatures that, and the, the plants and everyone that, that exist here on Earth, we can bring them to other planets, and, and it's very important that we do so as soon as possible, I think, while, while the window of opportunity is open. Um, I, 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 call upon, I call upon the public to support this goal and to think about this goal and think about how important it is and how fundamental it is to the future. We've got to get it done. The launching satellites is, is nice, of course, um, and it uh, keeps the, you know, we've got to bring in more money than we spend. This is important, but it's ultimately uh, all about life beyond Earth. N NASA made us way better than we would otherwise have been, and obviously we couldn't even have got started without NASA. So thank you very much for your support. You know. <laughs> um, so, um, but I'm mean, optimistic in general, so I guess that extends the schedules too. Um, I, I don't know, I mean, I, it, it, I guess, I, I would I would wish that we could do it in two years. Uh, I don't know. That might mean four, <laughs> but I think I, I don't know. We'll, I think it's not out of the question that it could be two years. Um, I, I would be surprised if it took more than four.